now that we have some events in the clip list, let's take a look at working with those events and possibly modifying those events to meet our needs. So here in the clip list, again, you've got an event and you've got four different camera angles to go along with that event. Make sure you have clip list turned on. And now, using the Alt button and the previous and next clip buttons, you can get through the different camera angles, and then again, you can keep going and get to duration, get to out point, in point, and the event number itself. Now, if you wanted to change the in point of an event, you simply get to the in point of that event, hold down the edit, and you can use the jog shuttle wheel to mark your in point. This is changing the in point for the entire event, so you're changing the in point of all four camera angles. They're all staying synced within the event in the clip list. Now, if you want to adjust the out point, again, hold down Alt and use your next clip key to get over to the out point. Go back to the Edit button and hold it down, and you can now adjust the out point when the play is over where you want it to end. Let's say we want it to end right there. Now, again, you can adjust the in point and the out point by grabbing the mouse, left clicking, and dragging on it, but very often in an instant replay situation, you want to try and do as much as you can from the control surface. And you can do 98% of what you need from the control surface using 3Play. It's just nice to know the mouse is there as an option. Now, whenever you create an event, your four camera angles are blank. And you do have the ability to put a comment on each and every one of these clips if you should so desire. So again, just go ahead and get to the clip or the camera angle that you want to put a comment on. And now, go to the keyboard. On the keyboard, you're going to hit the Enter key. And this is going to put the cursor in that clip. And you can now go ahead and you can put in whatever comment you might want to put in. I'll put in TD for touchdown. It only put the comment on that one clip. but when you go to search for any clip that has TD in it, it will show you the entire event. So you really only have to put a comment on one of the clips. Whenever we search for that clip, we're going to get all four of the angles from that one event. It's a good idea to think of some abbreviations to put in to those clip comments. You don't want to spend a lot of time typing. Again, you're going to have to be ready for the next play and the action to happen on the field. So create some small abbreviations for the different types of things that can happen for the specific sport or event that you're working with. And then type those in during the event as you go along. Then it'll make it very, very easy to go back and search for those events and find just those clips that you want to use, maybe in a highlight reel or to do another instant replay at another point in time. Now, to search for any clip, you've got a search field right up here. You can simply click in it. And I'm going to go ahead and type in SAC. And all of the events that have SAC anywhere in any of the clip for that event now show up. And I've been able to uh, search for them and single them out and be able to identify them very quickly and easily. Now, to get back to the entire clip list, just hit the small x next to that field and it will remove the uh, string variable there, and it will show you all of the clips available one more time. Now, before we started up this event, we imported some content. We talked about maybe wanting to use a video clip, a still, or even some music during our instant replay session. And you might want to do this at the beginning or the end of an instant replay to have a sponsor for the replay, uh, things along those lines. So to be able to bring in a clip, again, we imported it before we started the session. Now, here on the interface, you click the Add button. And it will then show you the clips that you imported before the session started. I've got a nice New Tech logo here. I'm going to go ahead and import that. And it shows up right inside of the clip list. It's the same clip on all four camera angles. And all four camera angles already have a comment. And it's using the file name that was loaded for the comment on each of those clips for that event. Now, if you're going to play that back, simply hit the Play button. And it will simply play that clip with any audio that's associated to it out the output that's currently selected. Now, if you want to stop the recording process within the three play, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can click on the record button right here on the interface, and that will stop the record process. You do have a readout here showing you how long you've been recording and how much time you have left on the disk, so you can keep track of exactly how much time you have left in your live production. Now, you can also stop the recording process from the control surface. But you don't just hit the Record button again. You have to hold down the Alt key and hit the Record button to stop that recording process. 
And this is done intentionally so that you don't inadvertently reach across the control surface and hit that record button and stop the recording process during the live event. This could be undesirable, so we put that qualifier key in there to make sure, yes, I want to stop this recording. And that is how you can do it right from the control surface.